The Big Idea, a new street formula to provide a safer environment. Did you know that 4,884 pedestrians died in 2014 and that there were 7,800 pedestrians injured from being hit by cars in the same year, which accounts for 14% of all traffic fatalities for that year? Also, there were 726 bicyclist deaths in 2014, 14,500 bicyclists injured from being hit by cars in the same year, which accounted for 2% of all traffic fatalities. Together, that makes 16% of all traffic fatalities outside of the vehicle entirely. So here's the traditional street layout, which is wide and overwhelming to pedestrians. It has inadequate crosswalk demarcation and has no space for bicyclists. Here's a look at the traditional way that bike lanes have been added to existing streets. They are visible, but not protected. There is no physical barrier to keep them safe. And this does not allow for safe on-street parking, if any on-street parking at all, which is important to many major cities adopting this formula. So here's the solution. By placing the parked cars on the outside of bike lanes, there is an almost consistent physical barrier keeping cyclists safe. This method would also introduce vegetation in the form of planters to keep the pedestrians and cyclists safe while cars are being loaded or unloaded. This method also retains existing on-street parking and implementing this method requires very little infrastructure as it uses existing roadways. It is ideal for secondary streets because it will require one removal of a lane of traffic. This formula creates safer streets for people using all modes of transportation. It is beautifully articulated in such a way that they all work together in harmony. By adding street art to crosswalks and bicycle lanes, people using this mode of transportation are beautifully visible to vehicular traffic, minimizing accident risk. This formula is an assembly of parts, parts which can be rearranged to adapt to a variety of city conditions. The method of using parked vehicles, vegetation, and art to clearly define the different spaces available for each transportation mode to use. The goal of this formula is always for the safety of all involved, a goal which might require adjustments and applications to our very dynamic and unique city.